Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. Now, if you read the Bible at all, you realize that in the greatest, when they asked Jesus what the most important thing was, he gave him two commandments, that you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind, and then the second is like it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself, right? You can read about that in in Matthew chapter 22. Um, What's really fascinating about that is when you get to that second commandment, quoting Leviticus 19, 18, it says that we should love our neighbors. And and here's a question, like how do we love our neighbors when it's so hard to do that? Now, I'm not talking about my physical neighbors. Actually, I have great neighbors in the the community in which I live. And, you know, it's really talking about the way that we treat others, ethics. Now, I talk about this at length in my book, Upward, inward, outward. Love God, love yourself, and love others. And if you've never checked that out, I would encourage you to pick it up wherever you like to buy books. It's in all the different formats. But here's the deal, is that God is inviting each one of us to have an impact on the people around us. So how do we love our neighbors when it can be hard to do that? First, uh, we need to have eyes to see them. One of the things that I love so much in the Bible is when you watch Jesus moving through, that Jesus will see someone and then he's moved with compassion for them. And sometimes, especially we live in a day and age with fences and, and and blinds. We don't really see what's going on around us. We kind of keep our head down. We're consumed with our own world. But I believe that Jesus, by his spirit, is inviting all of us to open up our eyes and see what's going on around us so that once we can see, then we can be moved with compassion. Second, of course, is that if you see a need is there a way that you can meet a need that is an, is an appropriate thing to do? So when you see something, you're like, hey, I might be able to help with that. And simply seeking to engage with that. Now, some of you right now are saying, well, Fusco, that's wonderful. But like the people around me are really, really challenging. And don't ever forget that our culture always tells us that we should be the bigger person. You know, uh, we, we should rise above when people are going low. We, we should take the high road. And, and, and in a lot of ways, that's a very biblical concept because we don't re- respond to cursing with cursing. The Bible says that we should respond to cursing with blessing, that we should, you know, love our enemies. You know, we should do good to people who do wrong to us. So one of the keys is also keeping our eyes on Jesus and not doing tit for tat with your, with the neighbor, but saying, Lord, I'm just going to treat them the way you've treated me and allow the Lord to do what he wants to do. So this is what we do. I want you to share this video because all of us are surrounded by people. We want to make sure that we're loving people in Jesus name well. And in the comment section, I want you to share ways that you are looking to be a blessing and benefit the world around you, your neighbors, and, and so that we can learn from the different things that each one of us is doing. And God bless you today.